Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your Love Forecast horoscope for September 8th to the 14th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a live person reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so we're going to be talking about your day today, your love interest feelings, the box delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's get right in. All right, so what's going to have my Gemini's Romantic Love Life September 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so this is going to be September 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. This is going to be your love interest feelings. This is going to be the blockages this week, and this is the overall outcome. So Gemini, um, if the day-to-day -day is confusing at all, just stick with me till the end. I'm gonna go over everything very detailed uh, with the overall outcome. We're gonna go over your love interest feelings and the blockage this week. So it looks like someone is about to take some kind of risk. They're about to go for it, they don't care. They're just, they're just like ready. So let's see what that's about. Okay, so the block, it seems to be someone who needs to defend their position against these other people, this situation. It's like I have the higher ground, I wanna stay centered here. It's like I need to stay centered in this situation, you know, just in case, because these people are coming at me about this. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So September 8th, ooh, Gemini. There's some kind of offer of love coming in here with the Ace of Cups energy. This could be renewed love or new love with the Ace of Cups energy. Let's see what's going on here. It's kind of my Gemini's Romantic Love Life, September 8th to 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's someone that cannot stop thinking about you, Gemini. They're like trapped in their thoughts and they wanna offer love to you with the Ace of Cups energy. Let's get more information here. It's going to be my Gemini's Romantic Love Life, September 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, it's abundance of love coming in here. All right, let's go further. We don't see this deck next. What's going to have my Gemini's Romantic Love Life for September 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need they don't know where they stand with you though Gemini they're they're really having a lot of uncertainty they know how they feel about you but they just don't know how you feel about them seems to be a lot of that going on right now all right this week all right so what's going on my Gemini's romantic love life September 8th to the 14th show me the cards I need to see show me the cards I need to see yeah, you may be uh, involved with some kind of creative endeavor with this person. Like, you are around this person, okay? Uh, you may do something creative with this person, may have a lot of creative ideas with this person, or this person is trying to find some kind of creative solution to kind of bring things together, to kind of bring light to what they're feeling about you. So let's see. This person is really interested in holding on to you with the Four of Pentacles energy. But there's some concerns about some kind of self-doubt or some kind of infringing party here. Yeah, there's like this depression kind of energy. Because of people. It's like this person lacks the confidence here. They're like looking at their themselves and they're like, well, you know, I don't know. Maybe they won't, you know, maybe they're not, Gemini doesn't see me as someone who's attractive to them. There is this real heartache, sadness for this, this person with you, okay? There's a heartbroken kind of energy here with the Three of Swords energy coming out. We see this fresh start, new opportunity, child card energy. Maybe this person is feeling like I'm really naive about this, you know? Um, there could be this small amount of heartache here with the child card energy. Um, or it's concerned about, like they're, they're heartbroken about this. 
you know? And they made like, oh man, I'm being so naive about this. All right, so let's keep going. There's a lot of thinking about you. A lot of soul searching here. This person is really missing you. And there's a sense of being left out in the cold here, concerns about being left out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles energy. So you can see there's this creative, wanting to find this creative solution. There's a lack of confidence and this person's like concerned. Like, how do I approach them? How do I approach them? Because rabbits for me represent, you know, the, the Venus, which is love and beauty and attraction and even creativity. And we see this, this, uh, this ponies like, I want to, and horses for me represent action. So it's like, I want to take actions here because, and we see there's a lot of snow around, so it's like, hmm, I don't want to be left out in the cold, but I need to approach them and figure out a way to do it in a creative way to come forward. And it's like someone's like watching this from afar as well, seeing this coming together here. And they're like, you know, kind of giving their two cents there. Um, so let's keep going. So there's a lot of juggling about some kind of heavy decision here. Should I, should I not, should I, should I not? I gotta juggle my schedule, I gotta make a heavy decision to a pentacles energy. Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long term. And we definitely see there's like a very depressive kind of energy there. And yeah, strong love connection here. And a major big breakthrough coming in, a shock and surprise about this. Possibly about finding out this person is, you know, definitely feeling depressed about this situation. Let's keep going. Yep, love again. Shock and surprise about this love situation. All right, let's see. I wanna find a creative solution. You may work together with this person, collaborate with this person, all right? Or do things to like make things happen, okay? Like, um, looks like it's almost like you guys are on the same page. Like, hey, you know, we're getting this done. We're doing this. We're creating this future. You know, we're doing this thing together. All right. But it's like there's a lack of confidence here. And someone's concerned about losing the situation or being left out in the cold. But there's a deep love here with the heart card energy and someone who keeps thinking about you. Yeah, you may work with this person because we got the eight of pentacles energy. And it's almost like this person is like, oh, my God, how do I tell Gemini? Like, how do I approach them? How do I bring this to light? You know, they're my whole world. And there's something about the cycles of the moon I see here. It's like something about this situation that's coming in cycles, something that's about to come to light. Let's see. We see there's something about working towards some kind of travel situation, movement or change. I need to be patient. I don't want to be rambunctious here. I don't want to run at this too fast. I need to make a wise decision. I'm at a crossroads about what to do. Because look at that. They are concerned that you're, you, you're being very standoffish, like you have boundaries in place. And also I see that there's multiple, maybe there's a person right here that's with you, around you, that's like kind of monitoring the whole situation. Because it's interesting, there's the owl there and then the owl again here with you. And it's like, it's, like, it's almost like this person feels like you have a lot of people around you. That's kind of like, like they're like afraid to invade your space. And it's like, you know, when it comes to love, you have this protective shield around you. Yeah, and it's like a lot of people are very protective of you. You know, there's a lot of restrictions, boundaries, like very cautious energy with this person. They're like, how do I approach Gemini? I don't know how exactly to approach them. Okay, so we see, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, this like advice being given here. We see something about this house is home situation. Definitely romance here with the moon card energy coming out. I feel like you guys are starting to see the signs though. By the 13th, like your intuition's telling you some stuff. Yep, about this person potentially wanting some kind of commitment here and a stable connection here. It's like you're just feeling that there's some kind of signs around this. Let's look at the final card here. It looks like by the end of the week, you are about to make some kind of heavy decision about this situation. We see some kind of good news. 
So you see that the news has arrived. Good news arriving, and you're going to have to make a decision about it. Things are coming together here. Communication. And someone's like, hey, let's go out. OK, so let's bring it all together. Someone's trying to find this creative solution. They lack the confidence. There's a concern about some kind of emotional loss and love because of boundaries or restrictions. But there's a commitment coming in. And we see someone you're going to spend some time with. <clears throat> So you have uncertainty here, and we see some kind of people involved, and this person is missing you, and you're really shocked and surprised, and a little bit at a crossroads here. And you are seeing some spiritual signs here, and getting communication, letter, message, or document. All right, so there's an abundance of love and energy coming towards you. We see someone who's really depressed, and, and we see this isolation separation, uh, lots of soul searching going on here about love. There's this patient energy and trying to make the wisest decision. We see romance coming in and things are coming together. It may be a whirlwind for you guys. So it's like I'm trapped in my thoughts. There's concerns about this person, like an infringing party or someone who's like, um, could be a family member, friend, or someone who's kind of like infringing upon this you and this new person. We see that there is this healing energy and we see traveling to a house and we see someone who's showing up. So it looks like this person is just gonna show up at your house, okay. There's an offer of love and someone who wants to hold on to the situation because they feel sad and heartbroken and they've been juggling at how to make this decision to put the work or effort into this and trying to be patient and getting some kind of advice or there's been a lot of contemplation and there's a decision that will be made by the end of the week. So you will find out about this by the end of the week if you're not aware of this person. But I feel like you guys, you guys may already know. All right, so how does your love interest feel about you? We got seven of pentacles, we got the nine of wands, and we got the five of cups. There's this waiting around, there's this cautious energy, and I, I regret what happened, Gemini. I have a sense of loss here. I can't stop thinking about you. I hope you're single and available to pursue. I regret what happened. I want loyalty and devotion, and I don't feel like there's been an equal give and take. I feel like we're destined to be together. There's been a lot of issues and distortions here in this, but I hope you can forgive me. All of a sudden, I want to make a power move towards you, and I've been thinking about it very deeply. <clears throat> Let's move this out of the way, Gemini. So there's been thinking and contemplating about fulfillment of desires and wanting some changes. All right, so. What is the blockage here, the seven of wands? I need to defend my position. Concerns about regrets. How do I put the effort into this situation? Someone who is trying to be supportive. See, there's someone overseeing the situation. There's this very cautious defensive energy. They don't want you to get hurt. And so there's there's people around you, Gemini, that are really protective of you. Yeah, you see this potential situation, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Something is coming in fast, and we see a relationship here. Yep, there's a relationship there. There's a commitment to love, and the timing is right. There's a relationship here concerns about disappointment around this happy surprise. Gemini, this is going to be a great reading. We see some issues from the past, something to do with an ex-partner or an infringing party, which is what I feel like this card is representing because I've seen this in personal readings and this can represent a family member, a friend, okay, or an infringing party. This person is trying to be patient to bring things to balance, but they're obsessed and they are 
deeply thinking about you. We see a relationship here. And we see the single and available to pursue. And we see an offer, renewed love or a new love, Ace of Cups energy. But I feel like this is a new love offer. And we can see a relationship here and concerns about being disappointment, right? We see this is a happy surprise. There is an offer here. And we see major changes coming in. Uh, we see lucky time. A commitment is being offered here of love because the timing is right. There's been a lot of regrets about what happened in the past, but we see there's some pleasure seeking going on and we see movement towards I do feel like uh, because of stuff that happened before with like maybe like um, passionate stuff here, possibly maybe before this person was a little bit of a player energy or like people around is like saying like, well, yeah, I don't know how serious this person is, you know, like before they did this, that, and the other. So, so I, de I definitely feel like that's maybe the reason why people are very protective of you with this person. But this person is coming in for loyalty, devotion. Well, yeah, you see commitment here. We see, look at that, someone's trying to give some advice. We see people involved. Mm -hmm. You can definitely see there's a relationship going to be forming here this week. And we see all of a sudden, we see this passionate, flirty kind of energy is going to move into a relationship. Let me get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Geminis when it comes to a romantic love life, the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? For the month of uh, was for September 8th to the 14th. For my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Get <laughs> ready to be all in wonder here, Gemini. All right, you got to be authentically you. You're about to be very joyful and happy. Okay, Gemini. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, guys, I read my comments. If this resonates with you, want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.